pH drops. Why are pH drops important? Well, this is an interesting subject. We, we've discussed in other sections that electrons are vitally important. In fact, when things are alkaline, they're saturated with energy, they're saturated with electrons, they're saturated with life. Um, the alkalinity works on a logarithmic scale. 7 is neutral. As we go higher, it gets more alkaline. So 8 is more alkaline than 7. 9 is more alkaline again, up to about 14. Anything below 7 is acid. Now, we obviously tend to want to avoid acid because we, we believe that acids, you know, it's poisonous. It, it, it takes energy right down from 7 to 0. That's acid. Now, what you need to know is that when something's acid, it is saturated with protons. Right? That it means it's got a positive charge. All right. Now, when something's alkaline, it's saturated with electrons. It's electron rich. That's electricity rich. Now, what we've always believed in natural health is that the body runs on electricity. All right. This is very, very different to medical science that or Western medical uh, thinking that the body runs on sugar or glucose. We've never believe that. We don't think of that. We think that glucose is an acidic waste product of metabolism. We don't want to give our children sugar. We don't think they need sugar between before school exams. We don't, you know, in fact, you know, studies have proven, you know, sugar to, to foul tempers and bad moods and all sorts of different, all sorts of different things. It's not what we think you want to put in your body. But like most people, if you're after more energy, then this is where it's at. Because if you can get something electron rich, electricity. Now, What's more important than that is your body is about 70% water. Now, when you die, it's about 50%. That's about 70% water. Water conducts electricity. Every cell in your body is full of electrical energy. Water, it's, it's what transfer, transfers things into the cells, out of the cells. You, your bowels, your large intestines, reabsorb water in the body. In fact, you know, studies, you know, and, and experts have conflicting opinions, but generally we think you need at least one or at least two liters of water a day just to make your bowels go normal. So what the pH drops really do is they raise the pH. Generally we aim for about 9, 10 or 11, but they, they raise your water to be full of electricity or full of electrical energy. Energy. So 7 to 8 is 10 times more alkaline. From 7 to 9 is 100 times more alkaline than 7. 7 to 10 is 1,000 times more alkaline. 7 to 11 is 10,000 times more alkaline. So if we can get your water up to 10, up to 11, get you to saturate the fluids of your body with this, you'll be flooding yourself with energy. And obviously, if we, if we add things into your water, like greens powders, and get them saturated with nutrients, we're going to begin to lay a platform where your body's got the energy, and hopefully can take that energy, heal your body, get you out of bed, get you through business meetings, help you make love to your spouse, whatever you need to do, you, know, you, you need energy. And in fact, I'll give you a question. Think about this. Health equals energy, because your body needs energy to run. It needs energy to regenerate. It needs energy... You know, that's what you do at night. You know, you regenerate. So this is a way to perhaps even shave time off how much you sleep, uh, but certainly make you more alert, even make you, you know, lift weights, make you physically stronger. So this is this is certainly the perfect place to start. After, after oxygen, we have water and then we have chlorophyll. So once we take, you know, greens, water, with, you know, the greens, the blood carries oxygen around, we're beginning to create an environment in your body, which hopefully will make you stronger, uh, more resistant to sickness and lay an amazing platform for things to change for you.